Hi you guys, it is Tuesday. So, finally bringing some stuff in. I just emptied the cart. And uh, so far I've brought in four bins and I'll bring some more in tomorrow. I won't get my other tall tower for about a week and a half. Anyways, <laughs> look, Panther for Yvonne. <laughs> This is from Karen. She told me a couple weeks ago she bought me this crazy panther. And she has a booth here too, so she dropped it off. So hang on, let's open that up. And then I'm going to go pick out some more jewelry over in the warehouse jewelry booth that someone, a couple more requests. I'll go see if it's still there and buy it for y'all. Okay, I'll be right back in one second. Let's unpackage this. Okay, you guys, I got to figure out what to do for Karen. Okay, first, let's start with the panther. <laughs> It's a huge panther stuffed animal. Look at him. I love him. Wow, he's in really good condition too. Oh my goodness. Who's is he? She paid $5.99 at the Ark. Oh my gosh. If that was at Goodwill, they'd have priced that like $30. Look how big it is. It's like almost three, maybe a little over three feet tall. <laughs> I love it and she found me a book sinfully vegan <laughs> okay oh I see why decadent desserts I have a sweet tooth that is for sure and it's really hard like I use agave and stevia monk fruit etc but you know oh my some safety pin art but um it's still a little, you know, when you grew up with sweets with butter and milk and all that. Oh, that is awesome, too. Look at that. That's in pretty good shape for a vintage piece, you guys. Look at it. Oh, and that looks like a pewter mermaid. Oh, my goodness. And then um, a cake platter that I could use for jewelry. And then a note. A note for me. Oh my gosh. All right, Karen. I love you, dear. I'll find something for you. <laughs> All right, let me rearrange this so it's safe again. Take this cart back to the dock. Run over to the jewelry and pick up a few more pieces. I'm still getting some requests to see if they can, if I'll pick something up for them. So I'm going to go do that. See you there in a couple seconds. Well, guess what? All the jewelry bags are gone. All the ones that I left were $20 and they are all gone already. So Jessica, I just sent you a message. I did find the penguin, it's still here. And I'm almost sure that says Trafari on the back. So that's a bonus. And she's added a little smiley face pin and it's with the proper Harvey ball design. Um, if you know what I'm talking about there, you can see the difference. I'll talk about that sometime or you can Google it if you don't want to wait on me, but there's some significance all right so that was all that i could find here you guys if you left comments for something you have to send it to the email so that i can find it okay i can't really go through all the comments <laughs> to find things but a lot is missing there were a few new pieces someone here here's the red white and blue that i see so will you tell me which one it is this one looks like 12. This is the coolest vintage one. It's 18, of course. It's super cool. It's the big kind of nautical button. $12. This one's pretty mod cool too. $10. <laughs> I kind of like that one too. I would mix this one with this one. Or, no, I'd mix all three of those. <laughs> Anyways, which one was it? All right, you guys. Oh, that butterfly's still here. I was so tempted to get that the other day. That's a new butterfly. It's kind of like cloisonne. Well, enameled. Let's say that, okay? I think that green pin... Was that the one... not sure so you have to tell me and I'll come back and get it if it's still here yeah she sold all her jewelry bags and a lot of stuff here is missing so yay for her okay 
So now I gotta run over to that lady where I bought the fixtures that's going out of business and somebody wants a couple more pieces of that glass. See you in a second. Okay, phase one, six tubs worth. Not a lot because you know, you have to wrap things to protect them. I just set them on the shelves, that's all I did. I'll arrange later. And so now I am putting a frosted clear film on all of these glass shelves because I sell a lot of glass and I just don't want to take a chance on it breaking and hurting anybody. Plus, I don't mind the way it looks, the frosted versus clear. I kind of like it. I'm going to turn around, you guys. Hang on. I'm going slow. Some things you haven't seen, you don't know that I bought. So it's just transparent um, contact paper. All right. So that's all. Just covering, covering some shelves. Check in with you guys later. Well, I'm ready to go. It's about five o'clock. They close at six. Um, I didn't bring in a lot, but I brought in as much as I could, you know, in the SUV because everything has to be wrapped. I'm really super happy with covering these. I think it actually looks good. It looks like frosted glass. So then I don't have to worry so much. I'll do that case next time too. And I've got another one of those cases coming. So, um, and I've got something coming for Afghans. That's not going to stay like that. And wait until you see what's going here. Wait until you see what's going here. I haven't told you guys yet. I found something last week on the way home from the Ark. It was a most awesome table. I'll give you a hint. If I had a place to put it in my house, it would stay because it's part of the Panthers. Um, I had them keep the top glass because it was way too round and I just bought the base and so they gave it to, gave it to me for $24 and I am kind of giving it a little touch up. Doesn't It won't get a full touch up because you know it's just going to come in here but if I ever get to put it in a, my home then I will give it a more detailed touch up. Hi you guys. So it's going to look awesome. It's going to be a great focal point. You guys are going to love it. I've never been in this booth, but I'll tell you what, this booth gets a lot of activity with these um, instruments. I don't even know what some of them are. Wow, wait a minute, this is odd in here. That's awesome, $20. Like yesterday, when I was working in my booth, a couple, I called the front desk for them so they wouldn't have to walk all the way up. There was a $190 little old-fashioned accordion there and they bought it for their dad in anticipation of Christmas. But yeah, this booth gets a lot of activity. <laughs> Look at that picture with the lizard. $75. I can't... Oh, Balik. He says it's Balik. Okay, anyways, I got time to stop at some thrift stores on the way home. Because I'm still on Academy. There's just so many up and down Academy. We're going to stop at a few on the way home, so I'll add it to this, you guys. Okay? First stop, New Horizons Thrift Store. The best thrift store ever. <laughs> it's um, a couple of days a week. They're open till 7. And by the way, earlier I said it was Tuesday. It is, of course, Monday. And here's Hubby's SUV. A lot of people love this. This is his second FJ. He gave his older one that he's had forever to the eldest daughter. <laughs> it's dark out. That freaked me out too when I went to leave. I'm like, wait, what time is it? It's like dark, but we fell back yesterday. All right, I'll see you inside. Oh man, do you guys see that? Store-wide sale, everything half off November the 13th. Yep, open house. I gotta tell some of my local thrifter friends because I have the best local friends ever that like to thrift and resell. Well, I love all my friends, but especially the resellers. We definitely take care of each other and it's so cool to have such great friends. Just like earlier, you know, Karen left me all that cool Panther stuff and I'm gonna find something for her. I will. And here we go. <laughs> oh, this was on the end cap on the way here. 
this was on the end cap. I don't want to break it. I'm trying to show it to you guys. It says USA on the bottom. It is $4.99. It's a cookie jar. Look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm having another fun week. It's the end of the day. Scentsy. That's a Scentsy. Things are kind of a mess, but there still might be something good for us. I see carved marble. Oh, it's only $3.99. Are you kidding me? Oh, this store is the best, you guys. This store is the best. No kidding. Dang, I feel like I've done well already if that's all we find. Because there's two more up the street. Like half a block. Made in China. What is that? Sausage, pork. What is happening? I don't know what this is, but I feel like somebody is going to want it. <laughs> what? Salami, pepperoni, sausage. That's like a good deli item. That's cool. Somebody, especially if they're Italian family, that may. They might like that for their kitchen, right? Okay, so some of you said, not so close all the time. So I'm trying to do a combination of nice backup scan, but then some people like to see things up close. So we're gonna do both. Not big on plates. Let me scan the baskets, but I always say, nope, I'm gonna get them at the bins. Uh oh, I spy a little John Perry. I do. I see you. 99 cents. I'm going to fix you right up. I'm going to fix you right up. Don't you worry. I got a home for you if I don't sell you. Oh, look, a store fixture. Let me go see how much. $17.99 for a four way. Hmm. My space isn't really that big those can be obnoxious if you don't keep them full. I'd rather it be round. Okay. Still gonna peek at baskets for something that looks really, you know, like more indigenous or something. Okay. I don't really want to go through all those frames today because I want to hit two more thrift stores. Rock salt lamp, just out of curiosity. $3.99. $3.99, you'd have to put in a new lamp. They're not that expensive at the, like at Walmart and stuff, so I better not. Quick glance at the dolls, just looking at their faces for first run. Don't see anything to pull up on, but I'll let you guys look. The only thing I would pull up on is maybe the one with the real white face. And I'm not feeling like it's necessary. Okay, I see a bunch of Hobby Lobby and Walmart stuff. We're going to do the Christmas aisle at the end. Like I said, I'm going to get some Christmas stuff, possibly. Because Karen, who also has a booth, of course, um, I called her to thank her for the stuff that she left me, right? And so we chatted a little bit in text and she told me that um, she bought a bunch of jewelry from that lady too. And um, she said yesterday she sold about $100 worth of little Christmas stuff. So I'll see if I can find some vintagey looking Christmas stuff. Dang, that's a cool piece of pottery. $2.99. Prices are so great here, you guys. So great. To made for Teleflora. If it was just a little bit better quality, I would still get it. That would not stop me. I've sold a diversion line of Murano that was made for Teleflora. One of those companies. Can't get as much money, but you still can. Oh, we're going to get that, I bet you. 
We're going to get this, I bet you. Yep, $1.99. Looks okay. Going to get that for Christmassy. See who this guy is. Is that like W.C. Fields? I'll look that up when I get home. I'm going to take a pause for a minute so I have a shot of it, a screenshot I can grab. Real nice looking pottery down there. I'm just talking, you guys, because, you know, there are a few people here shopping. Not too many, but give them some privacy. <laughs> Plus, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. We're going to get this, too. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get that. Japan. Hand-painted Japan. Yeah, I like that, too. That's kind of cool. Dang, look you guys. We've only spent what maybe twelve dollars? Like it's I used to drive down to Canyon City and there's one in Pueblo. It's worth the drive. We're gonna get that too. Two ninety nine carnival glass. Cart shot. We're doing fabulous. We're doing great. Absolutely great. Okay. I'm gonna shine my black light on you. Pyrex, it sure is. Um, that's a good enough price, and they're clean. That's a cute size, too. We'll get both of those. I don't think that's an epic um, pattern or anything. One of you guys might even know it right offhand, but for $3.99 a piece, we're going to get those. Let me get those in the cart. I'll be right back. Okay, that is not Vaseline glass. It did not glow. So, a repop, I guess. Those didn't do anything either. It's a cute peachy color, but that peachy pink color, it's not really coming back in full force yet. There's a few people I hear, but... Those are melamine. I remember those. I remember those being melamine. Okay, I'm going to turn back around. I want to finish this. I don't want to miss anything cool. Oh, there's a tumble up. From Big Lots. That's old school Big Lots, though. We're still going to look at that. Because that's a tumble up. We're going to check the quality. Hang on. Let's finish pulling from here. And then we'll find a quiet spot and look at that. I don't want to miss anything, right? I think I see... A little piece of vintage glass, I think. But Raku. $3.99 or $99. They would give it to me for $99. It's a signed Raku piece, but it's not the greatest. It's just kind of all black. Someone's still learning, but kudos to you. Two thousand three, but you're adorable. But I have to watch my quota. I can only have so much new stuff. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Another owl pottery. That is so cool. There's no price, but I know they'll give me a good price. Oh, I see something. <laughs> I love these. So this will be a keeper for me. I adore these. Can't remember whose they even are. Not even have to go to another thrift store. Mike can just go home and relax. Hit hit him in the morning on the way back to um, we're gonna get this vintage ashtray. Figure out dollar ninety nine, we're gonna figure out whose it is later. Okay, well that was excellent. See these little juice glasses. 
99 cents. One, two, three, four. Those are sweet. Possibly. Those might go into the cart. Scanning, scanning. Oh. It's newer, I believe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think that company's still in business. Those are cool, though. We're going to get these. One, two, three, four. Still have the sticker. They're kind of cool. They feel good. Yep. We're going to put those in the cart. For sure. All right. I want to... I'm, I'm not in the mood, but this is very good price. 49 cents for the bowls. 99 cents for two of these. And... 99 cents for three plates so it would have to be replacements okay but this is a good brand that it can bring you a little bit of money dansk i'm just not feeling it today okay it's just a lot going on oh, let me get my black light out yes we'll get that we will get that 49 cents thank you we're having a good trip again, you guys. We're having a good visit to the thrift store. Okay, we're going to switch aisles, okay? Because people are behind us and they're having a good time. Let's just look at mugs real quick and then switch aisles. <laughs> we're eavesdropping. Not really on purpose or anything. It's just happening. It's only 99 cents. It's got different places on it. We're going to get it. And I like this too for 99 cents. Hey, hey, this will be my third one. If you see one of these, especially new like this, um, this is 99 cents. I paid as much as $3.99. Let me get it. But, oh my gosh, you can microwave a potato and have it ready so quick rather than putting it in the oven and heating up your whole house in the summer. It turns out great. So quick and easy. You know, I eat a lot of baked potatoes. Well, pseudo baked microwave. But if you see one of those, get it. It's really helpful. I'm not kidding. There's this, oh, wait a minute, let me turn back around. There just weren't a lot of vases. Did I miss them? Oh, I did. Hang on. I kind of breezed through them because I, oh, I know why, because they're all clear. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mr. Coffee stuff sells so well. You'd have to open this up and make sure everything's in there. A lot of times, though, you can get these new because people get them for gifts and they don't really use them a lot. Um, especially, I learned this from years ago from Deb Pitching Pesos. Especially like the uh, Coco Motions and stuff like that. But if Greg was here, he'd be diving into this. Bacon bowl. Nope. We're not going to do a bacon bowl. <laughs> so. All right, Christmas Isle. We'll be right back. I want to go check health and beauty and lights. But I'm happy already. We are doing fantastic. We got money makers. I found some really high end, still brand new sealed lotions in this section that I ended up keeping for myself because, I mean, super high-end. Not seeing anything today. It's got to be sealed, you know what I mean? Okay, let me turn around slowly. You guys, every thrift store in Colorado has this kind of stuff. I'm suspecting your guys' do too. <laughs> always has all kinds of this stuff let's breeze through the lamps real quick mm -hmm. it's a pos 
possibility. Only $7.99. I've got more crystals. It's not really a lamp. I'm going to see if these are in good enough condition. I might get that and fix it up. I don't know. That's iffy. That's not going to be a quick sale, is it? I might just be thinking, oh, it's so cool and old. But, you know, it's still got to be something somebody wants. It's in pretty rough shape. Okay, let me check it out. I think I'll pass, you guys. It, it's too dirty. There's too much paint and stuff coming off. If it was a light, that would make it more interesting. But it's just like a, a scale weight thing. I don't know. I might regret that. I might do some research on that when I get home. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there's a nice late 80s, 90s. Some people are enjoying these again. Ah. I just, I can't get into it just yet. Unless I see a lot of people are wanting them, I'm just not ready to help bring that back. $3.99. That's old too. It's on a marble base. See the cord? You'd have to get... Boy, that'd be a lampshade to find. It'd have to be just the right lampshade. I got a lot going on. Let's not. You're very pretty, somewhat Asian influence perhaps with the cherry blossoms, right? But the touch of butterfly really makes you more interesting. Seriously, right guys? That would probably sell in the booth. That's a me, me too. Let's do this and see anything kind of vintage -y or artisan. I can get away with artisan. I'm really Hallmark. Oh, this is such a hot mess though, you guys. Oh my gosh. I might, I might be too tired at the end of the day for this. We might might do this when I haven't worked all day at the booth right so let's just take a quick glance just to be on the safe side but I do want to put some Christmas stuff in my booth St. Nicholas Square I think that's an okay name for new so if it's a, uh, some new stuff if it's like collectible you know then you can kind of get away with a little bit but again, I have to watch my ratio of vintage, antiques, artisan, and new collectibles. I have to lean more heavy towards vintage, you know. Like I said, I can't lie to get in. Besides, that's what I like and that's what sells. Nico. <laughs> Colorado is great. Sorry, lady. <laughs> okay, nothing's tickling my fancy and feeling just right. Nothing's feeling just right except for these velvet poinsettias for decorating. Right? Velvet. That's pretty. $4.99, darn. That's a little more than I'd want to spend. On the tops of the rounders over there is some more Christmas stuff, so let me get over there. Tops of the racks. What's on sale? Red is half price. 
Uh oh, closing. Okay, got to move fast. She's Peruvian. That's not Dresden. It's made in China. Let's grab bag. Let's see. Five ninety-nine. Woodstock. One of the Muppets. Seven ninety-nine. I see a lot wrong with it. I'm not even going to see whose it is. Too much wrong with it. And we don't have a lot of time. Lots of bulbs. Okay, let's check another. These are a bunch of sports figures. A bunch of sports figures. A bunch of resin. There's another row over there, but gotta go check out <laughs> hey we did fine look at all the goodies oh this is a coach purse for my daughter I don't think she's still into them but this is a really nice one I think it's a little bit older style I think uh, I think off the top of my head from the quick glance to authenticate it I think it said um, Aubrey spectator okay but we've done great okay I'm um, checking out and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you had a little bit of fun today. Bye-bye.